But now to immigration, where the president is marching toward a showdown soon with Republicans as he plans to use his pen to halt the deportations of millions of illegal immigrants. It would be a move that he himself has said many times would exceed his power. With respect to uh, the notion that I can just suspend deportations through executive order, uh, that's just not the case uh, because there are laws on the books that Congress has passed. The executive branch's job is to enforce and implement those laws. For me to simply, through executive order, ignore those congressional mandates uh, would uh, not conform with my appropriate role as president. So why is he now going against his own warnings? Well, he denies his position on the issue has changed. Actually, my position hasn't changed. When I was talking to the advocates, their interest was in me, through executive action, duplicating the legislation that was stalled in Congress. But the Washington Post fact checker has taken this one on and gives the president something I hadn't seen before. It's an upside down Pinocchio <laughs> representing a true flip flop. Legal oh. scholar Jonathan Turley warns our liberty could be at stake. What the president is suggesting is tearing at the very fabric of the Constitution. We have a separation of powers that gives us balance. And that doesn't protect the branches. It's not there to protect the executive branch or legislative branch. It's to protect liberty. It's to keep any branch from assuming so much control that they become a threat to liberty. The American people have got to force this issue and say, look, we may agree with you on what you're trying to do, but we don't agree how you're trying to do it.